The other day, the future of Warzone, or some of the future of Warzone, ended up leaking out, in which it looked like the map of Verdansk seems to be staying for the upcoming year of Warzone, but in a variation about 40 years in the past, in the 1980s. Today, I want to take some time to potentially spell out in a little bit more detail what this means for Warzone and the year ahead, as well, give my thoughts on the entire topic at hand. So, as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys hope to see here for the future of Warzone? Do you like the prospect of a 1980s Verdansk? Do you hope to see this kind of fall through and we get an entirely brand new map? Where it is, feel free to let me know your thoughts. As well, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Warzone. The next couple of weeks here look to be pretty interesting and pretty big. So, if you guys want to join the community, on our road to 400,000 subscribers and stay up to date with all of that, I'd love to have you. And finally, my friends over at G Fuel still have code Espresso bumped up to 30% off. So if you guys want to get a restock, try G Fuel for the first time. Whatever the case may be, check out the link in the description below and use code Espresso at checkout. But that said, let's talk about the Warzone map and what it means for the future. Firstly, where does this entire thing begin? For those that missed it, we broke it down fully the other day in another video on the channel, but there's really a lot to digest. A few days ago, before almost entirely scrubbed from the internet, there was a rough cut of a trailer that looked to be a future trailer for Warzone. It featured a few rappers and creators, Jack Harlow, Young Thug, Gunna, and Dresky. Again, hope I'm saying all those right. Totally feel like a boomer because I'm out of touch with those scenes. But it was a rough cut, and I mean a really rough cut, of a live action mixed with gameplay style trailer for Warzone. You can see things don't have any visual effects, you can see that there's some green screen areas that still need cut out, and all that that go into the filming process before post. That part wasn't anything too great visually to look at, and I think a lot of people took that trailer as the final thing for some reason and immediately cut up on it. But I can bet you this thing leaked in transit and was en route to a third party company working on contract with Activision to do the editing and effects for the videos. But the important parts that were seen in that trailer were absolutely completed. Those being flashback points in Verdansk, in which we saw brand new sequences of the upcoming map for Warzone, in which those sequences included a flashback view of Stadium, a flashback view of the medical tents on the hillside above TV station, a flashback of the dam, a flashback through a mine system, a flashback from the tarmac at the airport, and I didn't catch it earlier because I swore that I had seen this before, but the final sequence is a player shooting a car in the street with an RPG. That looks to be new as well, though, maybe just playing reference to older trailer footage that I thought I had seen before, but this is where the prospect of it being a reskin has been brought into play, because the entire locale of the map is still Verdansk, but I'm not sure if you've personally seen it or not, but I will say that having seen it myself, I kind of disagree with that for now. I'm not saying this doesn't have the prospect to be way too lackluster of an update to the map, but solely basing it off the initial judgment of the images that we had seen, I think it's too early to say that it's just a reskin. And listen, we're going to talk about it in a second, and I don't know if it'll be enough here for Warzone in the upcoming year, but for a simple objective recounting, the images that we had seen are entirely different, which gives me at least a little bit of hope. The stadium, it's being built in this flashback, and surrounding landscape looks pretty open, which is entirely different from what we have now. And perhaps due to low quality nature of the video, but the stadium shot itself, the only verticality of the stadium was that of the lights that were being installed, and it seemed like there was no way up or down them, though it's kind of like the current telephone line towers within Verdansk now, where you can kind of land on them up top if you end up floating from above, but there's no real functional purpose to be up there. There's also a construction crane, but that's about it for verticality. The most verticality out of that is an open set of stairs, pre-installation of stadium seating, and it's just the initial bowl of the stadium this there. There is no third, fourth, or fifth story of walls surrounding it, and the only other thing in the stadium looks to be a little bit of debris littering the pitch, but it's way less than what we have now. Off the distance, you see the town to the north doesn't look to be quite established just yet. To the west, Verdansk, there doesn't look to be many buildings, and really only two taller buildings in view. The apartment complex, which is like E-Apps, I think, in Ground War, and then the broadcast building. Way less verticality and one point of entry buildings, which I'm all for. The sequence with the medical tent and the camp? Well, that flashback featured what looked to be the Duga Radio Towers, a location that was specifically pulled from the rumored Ural Mountains map. But again, while the quality is utter garbage in relation to the resolution, we can see this area is actually really built up by comparison to what there is now. This now featuring multiple sort of blocks of two-story buildings, very reminiscent here to me of the mission Ashes to Ashes in the Cold War campaign with the alternate endings. If you choose to go those routes without spoilers, it's a pretty big plot twist here in the storyline, but it is something that has its sort of own little town to go associated with that and the Duga radio array in the background. The dam sequence, this now showcases a viaduct in place of the road at the top of dam and underneath it, well, absolutely nothing. 
it looks like that lake above it didn't exist at this point and there's no structures above or below it's just a sole viaduct or bridge that takes you from one end to the other with that fire station still up above and the environment looks entirely different here with a road leading underneath the bridge to maybe up above perhaps the mines well that flashback sequence we just genuinely don't have anything to talk about here at that because there's no mines right now to compare so that's entirely different the airport this sequence admittedly is way too punched in on the charter jet to really see but we see atc is still there the viaduct where dam currently is is off in the far distance but there's no destruction to any other structures around it then that rpg clip like i mentioned i thought this was another sequence that we'd seen before because it's so familiar to another piece of a perhaps previous trailer that i swear is just embedded in my brain that i can think of perfectly but this being a player rpging a car on top of the building currently in between the two skyscrapers in downtown that d skyscraper and then the main glass building from ground war but he's looking towards the capital now i noticed this firstly because of that intersection and again that reference clip that i keep coming back to but then there's that fact that there's also a subway station entrance currently where the medical tents are at the capital there's a different building across from it the capital as we know it isn't even there and when the player pulls the rpg out there's that quick view kick that shows a little bit above that pov and there's almost no other skyscrapers in the city not to mention the mini map is entirely different no matter how you spin it even if our locational matching in downtown is a little bit off of where i think this is nothing matches up with the current layout of downtown so sequentially speaking we kind of got some big teasers here maybe down to smaller and then up again with that rpg but i think this is a solid indicator of what's to come that we'll have some major areas of drastic change while also potentially keeping some of it familiar now i don't know how you feel about that i don't personally even know how i feel about that and coming around to it i have no idea what happened to the development of warzone that the rumored ural mountains map was kind of just thrown out the window from what i've heard the last two years or so for br and call of duty has been a wild ride borderline a nightmare from blackout 2.0 being scrapped last second in favor of warzone's launch last year some more recent events that have transpired in relation to maybe world war ii coming in 2021's launch window and potentially having a huge wrench thrown on the plans for warzone so much to the point that it was rumored that we wouldn't get any integration into warzone at all which would make no sense given how much is invested into warzone but development is always a nightmare when you look deep enough it's littered with decisions that change and always fall on the guy just trying to make a cool game but it becomes his burden and this seems to be no exception now my takeaway from this initially is that one it's way too early to properly judge something right now we have quite literally 10 seconds of a teaser showcasing five or six smaller or isolated areas of the largest map that we have ever seen in call of duty history is it something that it could potentially be a reskin in other areas where we say maybe still have superstore being superstore but maybe not so destroyed or littered like we see it now maybe but that's something that what we do see are some major drastic changes and if this pacing keeps up where there are massive changes and overhauls to complete areas where there's build up in new areas like that hillside above tv complete wiping out of areas like the dam those are drastic changes which to me are not indicative of just a reskin a reskin would simply be like slapping a brand new paint job on a building and everything is still exactly the same from what we see even down to that clip of the minimap everything looks to be changed here from what we've seen so far even if just slightly which again does give me a little bit of hope would i have loved to see something in relation to the euro mountains absolutely i think that'd be cool to get an entirely brand new map at the same time though it is something that whenever we see new maps introduced players don't often like it and will oftentimes come back to okay can i have the old map back now and whether or not you fall into this category i don't know but i know that i've done that with a few things in my gaming career but coming back to it at number two i'll admit i'm a little worried while i don't think that at its very base and at the very fundamental levels it's a reskin i don't think that it's going to be something where we just slap on different paint jobs and 80s themes for the current buildings that we have an existing map flow and everything that we see now just literally repainted and made to be 80s themes and sure I might catch some flack for that but just looking at what we saw leaked it doesn't look like that but I think that we're gonna be seeing major parts of the map change to the point where it would be almost an entirely new map if not an entirely new map but my worry is that it won't be enough that it won't be essentially a brand new map and that they do end up doing a reskin here with this in some areas and large changes in others I don't envy the position of the design team here with this at all cod's franchise and fan base is 
passionate we'll say you're never going to please everybody but at the same time warzone caught lightning in a bottle again with call of duty it did it back in the golden era of cod and did it once again here capturing that free-to-play audience and then sending it to the stratosphere in terms of player numbers whether that's due to any factor that you want to name like free-to-play COVID offering additional free time around launch that players can play addictive game design it could be a million different things but the problem in tall task arises in giving a follow-up that can capture that once again a year with minimal map updates and changes yields a lot of high expectations for a map. At least last year with launch, we had no expectations because, well, it just didn't exist before that. The problem that I see here on the future and that I hope they can tackle is that it doesn't become too stale too fast. You look at some of these points of interest added in over the past year, like stadium, like train station, the subway stations and shipwreck. They're cool and all, but they're only hot drops for about three days and then people were already over them. It's because they didn't offer anything to the fundamental basic of the game's play. I hope to God this new map is not a simple reskin because if it is, it dies and all interest is lost in such a short period of time for the same reasons like the other ones did. Because everyone knows literally everything about the map at that point. Warzone's kind of stale right now, not gonna lie. That's coming from somebody that loves Warzone and probably plays it admittedly too much. There's barely any small tips or anything like that that can give you a competitive edge in Warzone now that would have been incredible to know the first few months in. Everybody knows every line of sight, every jump spot, every flank route, every weapon build you should be using, every end game strat, you name it. The playing field is rather level on all fronts. It just comes down to how you approach each tactical situation in games that will give you an edge or decide if you end up going to the Gulag. But one of the things that was great about Warzone in the first couple of months here, probably like the first six or seven months, is that there was still a lot of learning that could be done. There still were things you could learn about the map, how you could approach certain situations, but now the gameplay is just more routine and lessens that skill gap on basic levels. We need the new map to be new, to be fresh, to introduce the ability to learn and explore new things, not even just from a competitive nature. Like, this isn't just me saying, hey, I can't wait to jump in and learn all these new things that players A, B, and C don't know about and I can take them out and squad wipe them. This is more so just from a level of fascination. That's what keeps players around, learning things and that awesome aha moment that comes along with it. In any game or really anything in life, I'm always so stoked and excited to learn something new that's even just some small sort of trivia. But with Warzone, I've been missing that opportunity for months now because everybody knows every inch of this map. So I guess to circle back around right now, I don't think that it's going to be a basic reskin. I think that from what we've seen in this teaser, it does have a lot of potential to be something from the ground up that's rebuilt and offers an incredibly different experience than we have now. But at the same time, I'm hoping that's the case. I do expect there's going to be some things that do stay very similar. I can't imagine you take out Superstore or anything like that. So that's something that will likely be static in that regard and maybe there's other pieces like that but I do think that there's going to be enough of an overhaul that there will be some drastic difference I just hope that it's enough if that makes sense so that's kind of where I'm at here with this and wanted to talk about it a little bit further with you guys so let me know your thoughts down below do you guys think it's gonna be something that is just a simple reskin do you think it's gonna be something that does offer a lot of new points of interest that will drastically change how the game is played whatever it is feel free to let me know your thoughts but hopefully enjoy the video if you did make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you're new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so a single thing running all things warzone we're coming up on what is surely going to be some big weeks ahead here for the future of Warzone that comes out. So make sure you stick it here on the channel. If you also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get talking about of YouTube. Practically on both those. If you guys want to share a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. But I said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.